I'm Derek Walker. Been involved in Raukin in a number of roles. The foundation of, of Raukin is, is one that's been built on the things of the Lord. It was a mission um, by a man that knew God. And so it was out of that foundation that we have this place. And if it wasn't for men like him, then Raukin probably wouldn't be here and probably most of the missions around the country. So, And we need to acknowledge that. George Taplin and his work, um, great work. It takes, um, it takes a man of uh, much strength to, to step out into the unknown. And, you know, Raukin's a... Uh, developed on the things of the Lord and I suspect it'll go forward on that too as well. People need to understand that what that foundation is and if you start to get a glimpse of that then you'll get a glimpse of what the future will be. As a boy, I, Raukin was always home. We weren't living here uh, but we always came home. My dad was born here um, and he always came back, um, mainly because it was home. He'd come back at key times, you know, the swans were laying eggs, he'd come back so he could get a swan egg and collect eggs. It was where he was in his element, he could, he could um, come back and do a bit of hunting, but also be home, see his mum and his dad and, and uh, family, and we were all family coming home, really. My siblings, we all have lived here at some stage, and so we all came home. And that's important to us, home is important. I came back home when I was um, in my 20s to live, basically to escape from uh, Adelaide. There was lots of things out there, drink and drugs, and um, in the, I was in the process of probably going to jail. And uh, I came home to escape that. And so Raukin was always a safe haven for me. Brought my family back then, and uh, it was in that process that I come to know Christ, because I had nowhere else to go really. And it was out of that that there was a sense of you know purpose and direction. When I came back, January the eighth, nineteen ninety-two, it's a date that's etched in my mind because I walked into something that I really didn't have a clue about. But what I did know there was that it was me and God. I was able to be part of the development of the farm, the community farm, and uh, it was an amazing story really. We are probably about $50,000 in debt. Um, the property was run down, the fences were down, the water points were down, and in 1992, by 1997, we were milking about 300 cows, running about 800 head of cattle, growing about 1,000 tonnes of potatoes and cropping about 1,500 acres. So from a turnover of negative to $3 million. So it was considerable, miraculous really. Um, I didn't have a, much of a clue really, but um, what I did was I knew people and, and I knew people that knew people. You know, the Lord uh, saw fit that I would be involved in some of these things that might be helpful to the community. So it's good, it's good for me. <laughs> manage a corporation, um, we undertake natural resource management, so the growing, propagating, uh, collection of seed, planting of trees, those sorts of things. We have a building company, we're currently building a new build here, a five bedroom house and we're doing some renovations. So we do a number of things around uh, community development. Things that are really important to me are God, um, people, you know, providing opportunity um, for uh, employment and training and development and, uh, and ways that people can improve their lot. This year we'll have seven people undertake diploma level uh, conservation and land management um, and a number of people in certificate four and certificate three and a couple of apprentices. So uh, it's really about development and people, development of people. Couldn't always do the right thing, but there's an imprint around the place that, where we've been and, and I just trust that maybe that's a legacy for the future and, um, and we've played a part, a small part in the development of this, this community. Succession is important. Some of the younger people, I'd like to see them take hold of the things of Christ first and foremost, but um, show some leadership and strength in the community. For strong leadership and strong understanding of who they are, the place will be in, in good hands. I think we live in a really good time um, as far as Aboriginal people and non-Aboriginal people coming together. I just think we're a really blessed country 
um, and there's some great opportunities um, to be able to um, reflect that blessing into the world, possibly. Be true to the things that are important in your life. Understand that God loves you, that um, He only wants the best for you. And if you take hold of the things of the Lord, and anything's possible, I suppose. <laughs>